and welcome back to lesson 4 of CNC late programming in this lesson I'm going to be discussing the very basic format of a CNC late program in the previous lessons we've talked about how to use a G72 can cycle for rough facing and a G71 can cycle for OD roughing and then of course the G70 to finish both the face and the OD now for this example I'm going to be using this process where we're facing and OD roughing with tool number one and then followed by tool number two that's going to finish the face and finish the OD so let's take a look and see what that program should look like alright so let's talk about the basic format of a CNC late program at the very top of the program you see the program number which always starts with the letter O followed by four numbers in this case number one now I want you to notice that the O and the zero look alike but make sure that you don't mix those up because the letter O tells the machine that it is the start of a program so that is the only place it will ever see an O unless it's inside of these brackets then right next to the program number we have the part number or the part program identification now this is the only portion that will show up in the machine CNC program directory so make sure that whatever description you put there tells you enough about the program so it can easily identify it on the very second line I would recommend that you describe the operation performed by the program in this case we're machining the face and the OD and then it's very helpful to know the stock diameter used and also the Z0 location or the amount of the part that needs to be sticking out in front of the jaws that is very helpful several months down the road where you don't remember those details so put that in the top of the program it would be very helpful then I always list the tools that are going to be used in the program in this case tool number one is used for roughing and tool number two for finishing alright so let's go down into our first operation which starts with a sequence number N100 now the way I come up with the sequence number is I take the tool that is being used in this case tool number one I multiply that times 100 and then I come up with N100 so for tool number two times 100 that would be N200 now the sequence number just helps you find that operation if you're doing a search for that operation a whole lot easier so that's the only reason I have that there the next line I put a description of the operation that just kinda helps me understand what to expect the first thing you want to do is make a safe home out move in X and so that is GOG 28 U0 and that gets the turret into a safe location to make a tool change and the next line we do the tool change GOTO 101 now the first 01 selects the station number which is tool number one and then the next 01 is the offset that it brings in from the tool offset page all right then on the next line we have the G18 which is the plane selection a plane selection means that the two axis slate is only using X and Z so we have G17, G18 and G19 G17 would be X and Y, G18 is X and Z and then G19 is Y and Z so we want to make sure to always use G18 on a two axis lathe alright on the very next line we turn on the spindle using the G97 S1000 MO3 now G97 cancels the constant service footage that may be left on in a previous program then we turn on the spindle to a thousand RPM and the MO3 is forward or clockwise rotation on the next line we go to GO which means a rapid move in relation to G54 which is where the Z0 is located and we're gonna wrap it in Z to 60 thousands in front of it getting ready to do our rough facing operation then we do a GO a wrap it to X 3 inches 200 now our material is 3 inches so 3 inches 200 means that the tool is gonna stop a hundred thousandths above the part and then the M8 turns on the coolant alright the G50 means set the max and the S3000 obviously 
is the RPM. Then we're going to turn on the constant service footage using a G96 and we're going to use a service footage of 500. All right, we're now in position to do our rough facing and so we're going to go into our G72 CAN cycle and I've explained that in detail in previous videos so if you want to take a look at those videos it will give a detailed explanation of what each line does. Then we go right into roughing the outside shape of the part so that is the rough OD can cycle and then when we're through roughing the shape of the part we're gonna home out the x-axis one more time getting ready for a tool change and turn the spindle off turn the coolant off and turn on the M1 optional stop and the M1 optional stop makes the machine stop between operations as long as the optional stop button on the machine control is turned on. If it's turned off it will ignore this code and it'll just continue with the program. So again the N200 is the sequence number used for tool number two. The operation name is finish face and we're gonna home out the x-axis to make a safe tool change. We pick up tool number two with offset two. Again we use the G18 now notice I'm kind of being redundant with some of these codes but if you wanted to start ahead in the program at N200 and completely skip the roughing portion then it needs to have all these safety codes in there to start off the machine correctly with safety moves, a tool change, turning on the spindle and making some of the codes active or non-active. So again, we're going to turn spindle on in G97 mode, which means cancel the constant service footage, 1000 RPM and clockwise rotation. We're going to wrap it to G54Z0, where we're going to do the finish phase. We're going to wrap it to X.7, where we're going to start the facing operation, and then we're going to set our max RPM again with the G50S3000 command. Then we're going to do all the machining using constant service footage of 500. Then we'll go into the operation where we're going to finish the face and finish the OD using the G70 finishing cycle which was explained in the previous video. And when we're done finishing then we're going to home out the x-axis, turn off the spindle using M5, turning off the coolant using M9 and then an M30 to end the program and the M30 ends the program and rewinds it back to the top. Alright so that is the first look at the basic format of a CNC lathe program. I hope that helped you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.